All right, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading uh, May 11th to May 17th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a, a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And with that being set aside, uh, let's move to the general weekly reading for you, uh, Virgo, uh, straight away. So the first one, which represents the very topic of your week, is going to be the Four of Cups, followed by the next one here, which stands as the um, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic, that is to be the Ace of Wands, followed by the next one, which star stands as the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Lover's card, followed by the Ten of Wands, which stands as the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week, followed by um, the... Um, impression that you are leaving into the people around that will be the five of wands and the last one that we do have for you which stands as the guidance the tarot is offering that is to be the six of uh, wands so we do have a lot of wands as a matter of fact we do have a lot of active cards and just only one passive and that is the very topic of uh, of your week so what happens throughout this week it is that your attention is going to be dragged literally elsewhere so whatever you are doing um at the, the initial stages of the week, your attention, like I said, is going to be directed into some different ent enterprises, which at the start, they will look like, uh, say, trifles, okay, and things that are barely worth uh, mentioning. But the more you, th you are to think about it, the more gaining for those enterprises are going to start look or look like. And so with those energies, uh, they are to push you or under those energies, you are going to have the affinity to learn and to experience, not exactly to learn, but say to experience a new stuff and as well to develop some slumbered skills, some slumbered knowledge as well to develop something within yourself, which leads us to the uh, topic of the situation itself. And that is to be the four of cups, which points that, um, it is, first of all, it's highly unlikely by you di uh, diversing your uh, attention into a different enterprise to jeopardize your current enterprises. So you're pretty much safe and sound to experiment and to go for a new things, especially if you are single. These are a fantastic cards to detach from a, uh, a an, an old flame and to go for a someone new uh, that it is to be a suitor of yours and to you know start dating for example but the thing with the four of cups it is that this card points that you are stuck more with the things from the past rather than with the things that can be your future but because the ace of wands it is the energies that means that your attention will be um or to your attention will be brought the attention that you can be more um enthusiastic i can't say yet happy you know but you are to find bigger enthusiasm into things that are wafting in the air at that particular point and you just need to show a mental awareness in order to grapple on them because um only if you mentally detach from things that are that are keeping you stuck in the past uh, that is uh, the way how you actually understand and see what is awaiting you into the future. And this is where the challenges really reside for you, uh, Virgo. That is to be the challenge of the lover's card. And that is the decision making here. Because the lover's always sits as, um, uh, in this particular narrative, that is. It always sits with what you want to do and what you have to do. And uh, the challenge for you is to be to decide which one is true. While in reality, there is no right or wrong decision here. Here, you can only go for either what you want to do or for what you have to do okay and um, looking at the rest of the cards especially with the one that is uh, at the end of the reading that shows the guidance you definitely gotta go with what you want here and what is gonna make you feel I would say happy and productive. So you got to go with the future rather than to stick uh, with the past. But nonetheless, uh, that itself is going to make you be a little bit out of harmony with especially with the relationships around and I'm talking about a uh, love relationships 
but as well friendships you know family relationships and etc etc so you are to find it a little bit difficult to maintain the harmony in it which could um, uh, on its own accord provoke, provoke some certain a uh, small wrangles in in those environments and it will be best for you if to, if you do neglect the issue or rather like if you don't pay attention to those wrangles because they are just going to go on their own accord so the bottom line here is then why all this is actually taking place you know why you you have that opportunity to um to go for a new gaining for enterprise like you know a new um a new interaction that may evolve into relationship an intimate relationship that is or a, a new proposition for a job that could be something small at the start but the more you, the more you think about it the more uh, the better it it starts to sound well for a couple of reasons but let's just go with the first one for start and that will be the gift and the blessings that a tarot shows that you're going to receive throughout the week and the ten of wands in your narrative is the gift and the blessing of power in a sense of that you get to get a grip on uh, on the direction of your life okay and you get to decide where to and how much you want to invest in it from now now the only thing with the ten of uh, wands it is that as um, as you start playing the game you got to oblige by the rules but because the card is in a favorable position meaning the gifts and the blessings you ain't gonna mind it because the rules are gonna seem very logical and, and kind of like a comprehensive for what you are to do so you alone are to understand that without those uh, stipulations and without those requirements actually the thing can't take place and cannot be gaining for because at the end of the day we're talking for a gaining for enterprise here and uh, once the criteria are met because there is no doubt here that with those gifts and blessings you are to meet the criteria um an awesome opportunity or an awesome enterprise it is in front of you but uh if you do feel that you do that your life is stuck the ten of wands definitely points that things are going to start moving around and not just only that but as well the ten of wands and the six of wands also which is to come after that it does point that you do deserve that reward of a gaining for enterprise for one or another reason and it will be pretty much a, a shame if you kind of like skip it or miss it or be ignorant for it so just at least explore your options available for that particular week moving next uh, we do have uh, the uh, impression that you're gonna leave into the people around that is the impression of the five of wands so this card here points that people are to see you a bit inconsistent uh, and that is kind of understandable now uh, imagine that you have been stuck with one thing for a quite a while so people were expecting you to you know to try to develop it but suddenly you are deviating your attention into something else so they say you know what the heck and um, are trying to understand you but at the same time the majority of those that are around you and especially those that are um, having you as a very faithful companion you know like for example your parents like for example your uh, wife or a husband but girlfriend and a boyfriend th those that loves you and those that really wants to see you succeed um, they are to see that that is exactly the thing you needed because people are to see you very dynamic people are to see you very in motion i don't know how to say it in english like you know taking even the smallest opportunity and the smallest option and the smallest opening in front of you uh, and trying to make it work around but also the five of wands it's a very potent card in terms of uh, career and as well relationship if you will because people are going to see you determined because the five of wands uh, it is one of the best cards with one is able to get the upper hand especially if one is finding themselves at the rock bottom so people are to see you as a force to be reckoned with definitely here and the last card that we have that is to be uh, the uh, guidance that Taro is offering and we do have the six of wands so with the six of wands pretty much the cards points that you should go to the thing that really have a reward for you okay you shouldn't satisfy for just for the uh for the heck of it uh, if i may say it that way so you always uh, here you need to decide because we saw that this is all about decision making here you need to decide in favor of the enterprise that is to recognize you you know and is to uh, reward you with an appropriate gifts and benefits 
Uh, just to give you an example, if your ex doesn't want to be with you anymore, there is no point pushing in it while there could be someone else around you that actually is ready to make you happy. So pretty much it is going for a reward and going for a... Uh, Just one second to yeah I, i'm going for the rewards and recognition very very important so uh <clears throat> for that, what i mean here is that your boss is to recognize certain sets of skills and probably that's why he's gonna present you with that gaining for opportunity that takes full advantage of your skills and it actually is gonna reap a reward and you know if you are single there is to be someone to recognize you for your potency to make their life as life they want and they will try to do the same thing for you and for that reason trying to make the things work from the past this week it is not the idea well away how you are to um how you are to spend the week and how you are to make progress in the week at least according to my cards so that being said virgo this was your weekly general tarot reading uh hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again if you're interested in a private reading with me uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye